In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an email newsletter in WordPress. So the first thing you want to do is head to this page. There's a link to it in the description. And then you want to create an account. You'll then want to activate your account, you'll get an email. Then you just want to confirm your email address. And that's it confirmed. You then want to click on add plan. And we're going to choose the free plan, but you can choose one of the other plans if you want. Just click on start for free. And then enter these questions and then click on submit. Once you've answered those questions, you'll land on this page where we're going to activate the plan. So if you just click on this to copy, the next thing you need to do is make sure you're in the admin side of your WordPress website, and then go and hover over plugins on the left hand side, and then click add new. And we're gonna add in mail point, which will be able to add a sign up form and send newsletters out to our blog readers. So if we click on install now, so that's mail poet. And then we choose activate. And we're we'll gonna click on begin setup. You can enter the from name that you want the emails to send from. So I'm just gonna say builder blogs and then the from address, so builderblogs at gmail.com, so whatever your email address will be. Click on continue, and then choose what options you want on here, and we'll click on continue, and then all you do is click on connect mail poet. And then go back to this page, so go back into WordPress and enter the activation key and then click on verify account. And that's it connected and then click on start using MailPoet. And then underneath we're going to create a subscription form. As it says at the top here, your subscription is currently pending approval. Sometimes it can take 48 hours, depending if it's a, a weekday or the weekend, for this to be approved, but it gets approved and you can start sending newsletters out. So we're gonna click on add a subscription form. And we're just gonna choose this one, but you can choose which, whichever you like, the newsletter sign up. We're going to click on this here, click on the dots and click on remove image. I'm going to remove this as well, I'll just close this down, remove the heading and then I'm just going to take this part off and say sign up to receive awesome content in your inbox. You can click on the cog if you want to edit stuff like for example this where you can change that round. I'm just gonna leave as it is. You can also go into styles and you can change things around in there. I'm just gonna leave as is as there. You can also go onto the form and you can give it a name. It's important to choose a list here. So this form adds the subscri uh, subscribers to these lists. So you can create lists in MailPoet as well on the left hand side there and you can put people into different lists. After the submit it will give this message which you can edit. Underneath you've got styles where I say you can change colours. This is an important one, form placement. So I'm actually just going to put it below the pages and click enable. I'm going to display it on all pages 
and all post products and then you can do other things there if you want I'm not going to now I'm going to turn it off on the pop-up so take off enable click on the cog again and it's currently just on blow pages so that's the form placement part done and up at the top if you click preview you can actually see what it looks like that's just appearing for now so don't don't mind that and that's what it would look like if we go on the side here we click below pages it'll show you what it looks like so if we go down there it is I'm just going to X out of that and then I'm going to click save we'll actually edit this underneath We'll just take, we'll take this off. We'll just say we don't spam. We'll just keep it simple. We'll click save again. And then we'll just go back into mail power. We'll go down and we'll, we'll create a newsletter by clicking on send your first newsletter. And we're actually just going to choose latest post notifications, but you can create any of these that you like. I'm just showing you how it all works. You've also got the capacity to do it in WooCommerce if you have a star. We'll click on latest post notification setup. So we're going to say immediately as a post created, we want to alert to go out to our subscribers. You can compose that however you want. I'm going to click next. I'm just going to choose the Science Weekly one, but you can pick whichever you like. I'm going to click Select. Just going to close this down. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to tweak this to show you how you can customise it to make it a bit more your own. So I'm actually going to delete this section as so. I'm going to go in here. And I'm just going to give it a heading. I'm going to say build a blogs newsletter. I'm going to click on the cog on the side. And I'm going to change the background color to that, for example. I'm going to scroll down. And I'm going to remove this. I'm going to remove this section just to keep it simple you can add things in as you go and then down at the bottom I'm just going to take this line off but you can add a postal address if you want or some some other information and then on stuff like the socials you can click on the cog and you can enter the links and you can add other socials in as you want there but I'm just going to keep it simple for the tutorial And then that's the content done. So just click on content. And you can change things around with columns and styles. But generally that's that's this part done. You can change that, for example, if you want. If you want to rename it, I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm going to click next. And you can tweak things like the frequency from the sender you can put a reply to if you want I'm just going to choose the list here and then I'm going to save and close and once approval sent through you'll get an email from MailPoet and you can activate this here I'm just going to say save draft and close but we can we can preview this by clicking on preview and this is what the newsletter would look like in the email, looking quite professional, I think. Just close that down. And that's that set up. And remember to come in and make sure that that's activated so newsletters start getting sent out. And that's that all set up. And you'll be able to start sending notifications out when 
you publish a blog post so you can start engaging with your followers more. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and you found out how to create an email newsletter in WordPress. If you want to create a blog website like this one, you can see the link to it on screen. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I'm Jonathan from Builderwebs and thank you for watching the video.